Haley Creates and this week's video is another September self-care video and this one is all about beauty. If you're a girl or a guy, this is a pamper routine and this is basically what I do when I try to get the best pamper in one night and this is a really good routine to do like maybe twice a week and I would say that it takes like up to like 20 minutes probably. But this is a really good routine and this is going to glow you up so fast and make you feel so good. So if you guys want to see this routine, then keep watching. So the first thing to do just to set the mood because you're going to be there for a fat minute is to put on some music and maybe light a candle or put in like a little air freshener, whatever you want, just to make yourself kind of like relaxed and get in your vibe and stuff. Also, can we just like, can we just like see this jacket? Like... This is the cutest jacket ever. This is from Brandy Melville. This is the first Brandy Melville thing I've ever had, surprisingly. And I love it. So, just wanted to point that out. I feel all bougie right now. So, after you put on music and light a candle, you're gonna wanna run up a bath. Run up. Sorry. Um, you're gonna wanna put a bath on. And for me, something that I just read on Pinterest, actually, follow my Pinterest board named Knowledge because it's a bunch of, like, hacks for your body and stuff. Um, I learned that if you put, like, I think half a cup or a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar in your bath, it's really going to help with your pH balance. So for girls, that'll be, like, really helpful because it's, like, going to do a little detox, you know, down there not gonna go further on that and if you want you could put in Epsom salts especially if you're an athlete and you have like sore muscles or your feet are all messed up put in some Epsom salts and it's really gonna help or if you just want to do it for fun then do that but be careful what Epsom salts you put in or like bath bombs and stuff because a lot of them have a lot of harsh chemicals and that's gonna mess up your pH balance and it's not gonna be cute so just watch out. The next thing to do for while you're sitting in the bath is to put on a hair mask or just put in some deep conditioning cream, I guess, some deep conditioner and tie it up and let that sit for while you're doing your little bath and then once you're done with your bath, rinse it out and it's going to leave your hair feeling so silky. Like usually when I'm taking a shower, I don't really have that much time to do like a deep condition, but since you're going to be in the bath, you might as well do it. So once you're done with your bath and all that, this comes to the actual real pamper routine. So the first step is to do a toner or a cleanser. And that's pretty much, you can just go to the store like CVS and stuff and find a toner. And I would get one without alcohol because alcohol is going to dry out your skin and it's already kind of harsh. So I would try to get one without that. And just get a nice toner that's going to unclog your pores. The next thing to do is to use some micellar water and take off your makeup from your under eyes and stuff because usually when you wash your face like you don't really get it all off by the way i didn't mention this because it's kind of a given but wash your face i use the um i use a charcoal bar of soap that's for your face and it has like clay and stuff in it that's honestly the best thing that i've done for my face like it's helped me out so much for like my acne and stuff so i would invest in a bar of soap that's for your face not like a body bar of soap that has some sort of charcoal and some sort of clay in it. The next thing that I do is I get a face mask and usually I get one that's like kind of a general face mask, like a cleanser type of face mask and I just put it all over my face and then for the bad problem areas like a pimple or like a bad rash or something like on my cheeks then I will put a spot treatment. Usually it consists of apple cider vinegar and Indian healing clay. And that's honestly the best spot treatment like it works so good and it's all natural and it's amazing so once I have my mask on the next thing to do right after that is get some coconut oil and get it on the spoon and pretty much just put like a big chunk in your mouth and wait till it melts and stuff and don't swallow it because that's a lot of calories I mean it's healthy but it's a lot of calories if you know what I mean and um swish it around in your mouth for the time that you have your face mask on and just kind of let it soak because it's really good for teeth whitening and it gets a lot of the stains off and stuff and it's like a really natural way instead of using like the Colgate white strips or something that have like who knows what in them 
Once you have your coconut oil in and your face mask on, then I would start worrying about your hair because for me, if I don't do something with my hair like after my shower, it'll just be like straw when I wake up. But if I do do something with my hair, then I can wake up with it being like silky and straight like this. As silky and straight as it can be even though it's dead. And basically the only thing that I really have to do is put in some infusium. And I think that's kind of like an old school hair thing, but basically for me it's just an anti-frizz and it usually has to be a watery substance instead of like a lotion. And so I'll just put that in my hands and put it in my hair while it's still wet and let it dry like that and it'll like make my hair so smooth. So whatever is good for your type of hair, I'm not really sure because mine is different than everyone else's, but get your hair routine down. I would go on Pinterest and check out like your type of hair and then what you can do for it and do that. The next thing to do while your mask is sitting and stuff and your teeth are soaking is to get some castor oil and put it on your eyelashes and if your brows are really sparse and put them on your brows. I'm honestly scared to even get it near my brows because they grow in like by the end of the day so we don't need that and <laughs> I just put it on my eyelashes because it makes them grow thicker and it'll give them like a little lash lift, you know, you're gonna wake up looking like Sleeping Beauty. So that's pretty much like the only thing I do to my lashes. I don't like to curl them and stuff. Um, I try to be really gentle on my lashes. The next thing I do is I get some cocoa butter and coconut oil and I mix it together and I lather up my legs like really thick, nice lather so that they kind of start soaking in while my face mask is still on and stuff. And that's honestly like... It makes my legs so soft and it's considerably natural um, I like to get like the most natural like cocoa butter I can find the next thing to do while you're waiting for your mask to be done is I would start plucking your brows if you have any like little hairs missing like I would just get some tweezers and don't go crazy because this can be like really dangerous honestly I have plucked my brows to like the max where there was like barely any so be careful but if you know what you're doing, then um, I would just get like under here and stuff, you know, because sometimes they grow in or like between. Again, yeah. be careful. I would not even, don't even, I wouldn't even go between because that gets really dangerous. But yeah, just clean them up and it's kind of satisfying, honestly, like when you're sitting there just waiting. So once you're done um, mixing around the coconut oil in your teeth, then I would just spit it out in the sink because I wouldn't spit it out in the shower because it's like kind of messed up my shower before just because it gets like really slippery and it gets all greasy and like it's just a mess but I would spit it out in the sink and then get some hydrogen peroxide as weird as it sounds I mean check with your parents first I've checked with mine it's chilling but get some hydrogen peroxide and pour it over your toothbrush and use your regular toothpaste and start brushing and that's gonna help you like um with getting the stains off once you've kind of soaked them off that'll help you get them off even more and I usually put peroxide on my brush every night just as kind of a precaution because that's pretty much like the main ingredient in all of like the teeth whiteners once I rinse off the face mask I will usually put aloe vera gel under my eyes because I'm really sleepy a lot. I get kind of bad dark bags under my eyes. Aloe vera gel will help you get rid of those and just put it on there and let it kind of soak in like once you go to sleep and stuff. And that's going to take out all of the purple and like dark tones under your eyes. The last step is to get some Moroccan oil or maybe some olive oil whatever oil is best for your skin type and get that mixed with some calendula lotion and mix that together and put it on your face it's a really good combination for moisturizing the skin if you have really oily skin then I would maybe go on Pinterest and look up like oily skin routine because this is what I do but I get really bad dry skin I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys are doing a little self care this September and yeah I missed you guys and I've been working so hard in school and I'm trying to get videos out every week so say hey. Hit me up on Instagram and stuff and check my Instagram because sometimes I post more on there than I post on here. So yeah, just stay updated and all my links will be in the bio below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!